What's up everyone, it's me, T1 Glistener Elf, playing some MTG Arena once again. This event you see over here, Welcome Weekend Singleton, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a singleton event just for the opening weekend. It's free to play, and I'm currently two wins in. The way that this works is that you keep playing until you either hit two losses or four wins. It only lets you go up to four. And I've actually done, so my last four have been consecutive four X's. The first two were four ones, the last two were four O's. With this deck up here, <laughs> I call it Celesnia Craig Wesco. Shout us to Craig Wesco. Let's take a look at what's inside of it. Cards. Alright, so singleton format, and I'm just getting started, so a lot of these choices are going to seem really weird to people who have been playing constructed, standard, and modern. Uh, that I don't have quite the selection that you might think I have, or certainly that I would hope to have. You'll notice a lot of he, uh, not a lot of one drop, well, okay, you can see my curve right over here. Before we go into the specific cards, this is what's going on. A little bit more white than green, but I have an equal number of green and white lands that is forest and plains, because those turn one forest can be more consequential. See, land or elves, for instance, that's that's the one. All right, how do I get this off? There we go. There we go. Now let's see. Not a lot to start off, just uh, a couple pump spells and a land or elf. Flower gives this deck an awful lot of consistency. Flourish gives it a good finish. As you can see, it's going to be a weenie deck. Uh, we have explosive apparatus as a as a universal way to get rid of small creatures. Uh, lifelink, first strike, hexproof from black, and there we go. Knight's Pledge. I find that as I've been getting better, as my opponents have been getting better, auras are getting worse, and I think that's typically how it goes in magic in general. As your opponents are more likely to play removal spells, you open yourself up more to two for one. So. As, as I recall, I think this is the only aura that's left in the deck. 3-1, uh, just some removal, any removal, please. Another bit of mana ramp, a Vigilant 2-2 two -two creature, a one-way Prey Upon, uh, Titanic Growth, <laughs> that tells you a little... I have gotten way too many people with that. Luminous Bonds... Pegasus Courser, so when it attacks, give another attacking creature I control flying. Uh, just a 3-3. Three, three. A 1-1 one, one that helps set my, my lands to whatever I need. Jade Light Ranger, OP. The mana cost does sometimes get it onto me just a little bit. Uh, I only have four two-color lands in the deck, as I recall. But, you know, double explore. <laughs> two explorers. Uh, a 2-2 two, two and a 1-1 one, one with Hexproof which, by the way, gets that aura quite a bit. This I'm a little unsure about, but uh, it's okay. It's a 3-3 three, three, a three, three for 3 that can sometimes keep me from losing the game. It can occasionally make it a little harder to beat my opponent, um, but I, I think it's worth it. it. I've seen enough aggressive decks. This <laughs> this is quite the card. This is a 2-for-1 against them. Knight of Autumn does everything. Uh, Arcane Encyclopedia seems weird in a weenie deck, but as one of it's fine, just as a late game, I have nothing else to spend my mana on, and here's what I'm using. Uh, Inspired Charge, it's a weenie deck. I don't think this really needs to be explained too much. Skipping down just a bit. Speaking of weenies, we have Loon and War Leader, so a 4-4 that makes 1-1s one with lifelink. Uh, this one, when it attacks, taps a creature defending player controls. This one has Reverse Menace. It's a 4-4. Four four. Uh, mana cost also ends up being a bit of an issue, as you can imagine, but it's a Vigilant 4-4 four four that makes two 2-2s, two which have Vigilance too. This is actually the only... So if you're not familiar with the way that... Uh, I, I think it works similarly in Hearthstone, but in MTG Arena, you start off with some wild cards, and you get to convert a wild card into whatever card you so choose. It doesn't break down into dust that you build into other cards, etc. You just make it into another card. And you start off with one mythic. This is the only mythic I had, it's the only mythic I've gotten, and it's the only wild card I've used of any rarity. And I made it into a Karn Scion of Urza. It's that good. Uh, I'm spending my one on a Karn. So, Karn Daddy's been doing a lot of work. Uh, Cleansing Nova seems weird in a weenie deck, but if I ever do get behind, 
this helps me to, you know, it, it's a one for however many things <laughs> my opponent has. And it actually allows me, it can be good in a weenie deck because I can play more conservatively, let my opponent play out their board, play Cleansing Nova, and then I have I can play out my board. Uh, Vigilant Baleth is just a 5-5 five, five Vigilant creature. Uh, by the way, something you'll notice as we go on is that the curve seems awfully high. In a singleton format, I find that we the games go on a bit longer, and you can afford for your curve to be a bit higher. Uh, here's the same thing, but a 4-4 four, four, with, with Convoke and a 2-color mana cost. Here's Light of the Legion, Flying, Mentor, and when it dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on each white creature you control. So even if it never gets the chance to profitably attack or attack at all, it can still be fine. It still throws counters on your dudes. And you're a weenie deck, so that can be a lot. Sarah's Guardian is Vigilance on all your dudes and also has Flying. Aggressive Mammoth, Trample on all your dudes. Jeez, that art. Galta, just a 12-12 for two mana. And Trample, I like that. As for the lands... It's 10 Plains, 10 Forest, a Guild Gate, Temple Garden, Tranquil Expanse, and one Gateway Plaza. So just a bit of fixing. I'm missing some Petal Grove. I haven't gone into any Ixalan, I believe. Uh, and I didn't get the Slesnia Reward deck. So that's what I have. That's this deck. And there's a sideboard, but this is a best of one event. So the sideboard, I just crammed cards. I didn't think I needed it. Oh, whatever. I didn't know going into it if it was going to be best of one or best of three. Uh... Now, let's see, I am two wins and zero losses, and can we try to make it five consecutive four X's? Can we make it three consecutive four O's? Here goes nothing. Alright, express yourself to your opponent with emotes. I think I'll do that. Say hello. Okay. And I've actually never used... Is I Judging by what it just told me, I think there's a way that you can manually institute a timeout, but I've never... Oh. Oh. We're still going to keep. We're going to get a draw, and we'll get plenty of turns before we have to find some white mana. Play the apparatus. Might as well. <sighs> I hope I didn't just... Oh, no. Oh, okay. So if you've never seen this before, this is the Rat Colony deck. This is a thing, and we have Cleansing Nova. As long as we can find double white, we'll be okay here, actually. This, this is not so bad. Our opponent's going to play another Rat Colony. So I said a singleton format. No, 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 no. This, is <laughs> this guy, you can have any number in your deck, and it defies that rule. Um... It is really important that I, I get rid of one of these now. The sooner the better. It means less damage coming down. I'm about to take another three here in just a moment. Alright. A. This is a difficult deck to deal with, not going to lie. It's perhaps not what my deck is best suited to do. I imagine a red deck with a lot of shocker lightning bolt effects would do a bit better. Okay. Alright, okay. This is this is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. Um I'm gonna hope I have enough time. I don't think I do, but I'm gonna try to definitely not attack. Uh Encyclopedia. Draw into a land. If I don't get it next turn, I'm in, I'm in a world of hurt. Yeah, I, I don't even have a turn. I need to top deck it now. Top deck that's planes. Okay, it's okay to block here because I'm going to have to lose my creature anyway. Then we go to two. Uh, alas. You know, I forgot to say hello. Hello. Nice. Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. The color giveth and the color taketh away. So I, I jinxed it. What can you do? 
man, that art, that a Johnny. On the one hand, that dude is so screwed, but on the other hand, a Johnny's got his hands back like, what? Come at me. All right. I'm going to wait just a moment, give myself a chance to have something to drink. That's all right with you. Off to the next one. MTG Arena team members. Oh, I did not know that. Vans. So I actually committed double jeopardy against someone in the second 4X, where, uh, the second 401, where I played against someone named, oh, Keep? Someone named Pono Chaos twice in the same event. It was a five color good stuff deck. All right, what you got? And he's, I remember that because he used the Teferi profile as well. Say hello. Okay, I was about to say, are we waiting on me? All right, come on. With any luck, not the same deck. Ooh, not you. Uh, yeah, we'll just play the apparatus out. Hmm, Glacial Fortress. Gee, I wonder if the Teferi's just for show. It's not all that unlikely that I could see a Teferi coming up. If you were a beta test, or a, if you were in the closed beta, like I was, you received all of the... Planeswalkers, all the Masterpiece Planeswalkers that are in Standard. So, the Fairy Hero of Dominaria. Attack. Combat. I would like to get a my turn. A Vraska, Golgari Queen, and a Rouserek, is it Viceroy? Let's do this real quick. So, it's not all that unlikely to see Teferi show up. I think I'm okay with it being that early. Good grief. Okay. Do I start off with the Bela or the Centaur? Hmm. Balath. Balath? Balath, right? I wonder if they have something else to deal with the Centaur. On the one hand, they only have one blue mana left. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the Ballad, so that it doesn't have a chance to get countered on the way down. There's Teferi. Hey, buddy. I knew it. I won't hide from the warp right on schedule. Right on schedule. Okay. Well, slow down. Yeah, that's that's fine. It's at one. I'll get there, I think. I think so. So let's see. Um, it's probably right to just get rid of Teferi now. I don't actually, I haven't seen any creatures. I don't even have a guarantee I'll have smaller stuff to have to do later. All right, let's see. Guess we'll just play the Courser out. don't really have anything to get rid of that bond except for one night of- Oh, we're just doing just guy good stuff. I thought about making this deck. I didn't think I had quite enough things. Although I have two Rattles, a Teferi, a Karn. I didn't think I had enough support in for that context, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. Just two. And you care about instants and sorceries? Yep, alright. So that's not even an option yet. I can get Rouser or yeah, Rouse down to one, uh, but I'm not worried about the minus yet anyway. So we're going to go to combat, attack. Make sure I do this correctly. Since I've seen red, maybe I have to worry about damage, so keeping the titanic growth up is is fine, I think. And there's double red. Ah, 
so many cards. Omen speaker. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That seems pretty good. Well, sorry to have to deal with your fairy there, bud. Ooh. Let's see. Of course, yes, yes, it'll resolve. On a peak, the weight is killing me. <laughs> is it, bud? It, oh, every time I say "is it," it's a, it's an "is it" joke. Okay, three damage to each creature. Um, I would think I want to hang on to the courser. Um, I'm okay with that. I felt pretty alright. Then, then that had to happen. Of course. Of course it did. Okay, now, Rabid Bite only deal yet to Creature. Creature you don't control. Fair enough. Guess we'll go to combat. Alright. How do I... There we go. Commit our one attacker. And while the opponent's tapped out, heck yeah, we will. Oh my goodness. Well, it's okay, I can still rabid buy things if I need. Hello! But that's all I can do. Alright, Rao. That's real science. I have my volume down a bit. I couldn't quite make that out. Did he say that's real science? Hmm. Come on. Every single time you've had an answer, this is how we get those answers. All right. By the way, one, two, ooh, wait, 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 what happened? What did I, I missed that, what happened? Okay. Oops, oh no. Oops, I, I'm sorry, dude, that, that stinks. That's okay, it's okay, at least you got the kill. At least you got that somehow. Play that out, I guess. I mean, Rel's not really in threat range. Ooh. Wait a minute. Two five five. Whenever you draw a card, deals one damage to any target. Killing me. Yep. That's uh. That's not technically drawing a card, is it? No, no, no. Okay, good. That's okay. We're we're fine here. We're fine. Grab a bite. This dude. This dude. Still gotta do it, but dang, that hurts. Oh no. Oh no! Not like this. Ooh, not like this. Folks? I mean, I'll play it out. You win 0% of the games you concede, but... Uh, there's not a lot getting me out of here. Good to know. <laughs> and again. No, it is a cool deck. I, I very strongly considered building this very deck after all. Okay. Well, let's see what I can do here. I can... You obviously fly. Let's take the... 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's probably right. I can keep the three three off of me if I do that. Let's disenchant or naturalize. Yeah, I guess you were the only one. All right. I mean, I guess that's a start. We're still a ways away from it, though. Uh-oh, they're clicking on my dude. Oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah. GG, mate. GG. Huh. Hope we get something good. Just let him know. Because that was cool. If I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna be cheeky about it. Yep. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't... This isn't a one that can just be put on any creature. Alright, that's it. Oh, it's taking away the option to concede! Oh no! Alright. Well, I jinxed that. I jinxed that super hard. But it's okay. It says here that we have a slight chance to get a rare or mythic out of it, so... See what I got. Now, this is a game where getting an uncommon can be hype. This was not an example, though. <sighs> okay. Yeah, let's, uh... No. That that ended the streak right there. Alright, but in any case, taking a little look at my collection. I sort this. And you know what? Let's let's make it a little easier. Let's just look at rares and mythics. Save ourselves some time. I mean I, I think I have some things that are worth putting into a, a Jeskai control list, bearing in mind that I can only use singletons. You know, big stuff like Zatalpa. I like being able to wipe the field. Um, I mean, I guess if I can control the board hard enough, a 2-3 can do something, but no, that's not really what we're after. There's Teferi, double row, but again, singleton format. Um, This is good for ramping me up to my Planeswalkers and, you know... Blowing stuff up. <laughs> Get rid of weenies. Yeah, nice little removal. Nice end game card, etc. Very nice. Um, so I, I certainly thought about it. Oh, and also Karn. Let's just do this real quick. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. I missed you. All right, that's it for now. That could have gone a little bit better. Just a, just a little bit. All right, that's it. Take care, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.